from Sam Reid. And the ruck against Carlisle here. Trying to run onto it was Patley, and a free kick has been spotted. It's going the way of the Swans, and their leading goal kicker for the Swans for the past five years. He's already kicked 35 so far this year. Tom Patley in goal kicking form. A beautiful strike and a confidence booster for the Swans. Something the Swans were so elite at. But look at this there. So Luke Dunstan obviously panics. Not a huge man in there. On the lead, just inside forward 50. Going for Blake. He was tunneled, was he? No. Well, the free kick comes late. Yeah. With the angle that he put him on, didn't he? What can Blakey do with it? The set shot. He's a master of it, this rising star in 2019. But in a drop punt action, you see so many players wanting to snap around the corner, but he's gone back this time, kicked the drop punt, good finish. Be interesting to see when he develops fully where he plays for the Sydney Swans. Ruck work of Marshall. Swans get it towards McCartan this time, and the marks are sticking early, aren't they? And it's his 34th already. Youngest in the draft class a couple of years back. Good angle for McCartan to try and hit the scoreboard as well, and he does. And after giving up the first goal, they've kicked three in a row, the Swans. Great signs from a Sydney perspective when you're getting a nice spread of the ball going forward and the goal kickers, Blakey. Trying to find a teammate out the back, and now McVeigh inside forward 50. Does the team thing, looks for Kennedy and finds him. Used to kick a lot of goals, didn't he, Josh Kennedy? But he's five goals, nine so far this year. But that one is right through the middle as well. And the Swans look keen to rack up a big score at the SCG today. A lot of time together rehabbing from groin surgery in the off-season. And understanding there for all to see, Menzel and Buddy. Now Papley keeps his feet. He's got two men over the top. They'll surely get a goal here. Robottom backed himself in and kicked it. Up. This is Franklin coming up on the lead and he wants to move the ball on quickly. Swings onto the left, drives it deep, and there are two opportunities here. There's the first one, there's the second one, and all of a sudden you're out number three to one. They can waltz in and kick an easy goal. A little bit against the runner play, they've had so much play up forwards and killed, but they haven't capitalized. Little channel, lovely kick to Ronk. Franklin's on the move, Ronk found him right in front, his buddy. That's his the one the crowd's been the waiting <laughs> for. They've been waiting for it, they finally get it. Has to tell his teammate to get out of the road. What was Hewitt doing? <laughs> he was presenting almost as another man on the mark. So Franklin from right in front to bring the house down in game 300. Listen to the roar at the SCG. Struck it well too, Jace. He did ominous signs. Couldn't ask for, for better than that to start with. They just look like scoring every time they go forward. And on the, the flip side of that, he's St Kilda are having a lot of the ball in their forward half but cannot use the ball well enough to hit the scoreboard. Man, Lloyd with a big kick forward. Now Blakey stayed down, read it well, and he had Kennedy wrapping around. A shot from 55 from the captain on the day, and it's a captain's goal from Josh Kennedy. Trying to fire up his troops. Form obviously is getting towards the back end of his career, Jace, but... Today he's been very influential, five clearances as well. He's always been capable of this throughout his career, Jace. Been able to kick goal. He killed his last win in this fixture, 2012, and here's Franklin to try and restore the Swans lead. 47 goals, 34 down the years from this spot. From right on the rainbow arc, Franklin. It's perfect, but he's got a couple, and the Swans are back on top. The right thing, Nathan Brown wants support on the inside. Just see there, he's playing to the outside. He's expecting a long kick in. He needs teammates to be able to cover on the inside, to be able to take it. So you look at there, there's enough. Brilliant. Parker goes quickly towards McCartan or Menzel, and McCartan's got it. Now, how's that leg feeling? Nathan Brown is at Collingwood. No, he's going. So coming up for his fifth possession, he kicked one in the opening term. McCartan talked himself into that one, battling that corky, but no problem at all for the 19-year-old. Quarters well, a really good contest to mark against Jake Carlisle. Carlisle would argue might have been got him a little bit high, but uh, good grab there. They've been very efficient, the Swans, haven't they? Nine goals, three. Good finish there, good example. Nice straight lead. Bottom taking the game on, handball over the top, 
The fans roar for Papley to try and track it down. He does. Pulls it back inboard. And they can look around. And the man who started it all, Parker. See, come back to haunt them. They've got six goals, 12. And the Swans have 10 goals, three. And they're opening up a margin again. It's his fifth game today, as the same. He's averaging mid 20s for disposals in his game so far. Marshall again with strength. Oh, Parker is capable of soccering it out of midair, and again it worked out like he did for a goal of the year candidate last year or the year before. Now Ronk, McCartan, he's got teammates, but he'll kick a goal himself. He's got three, leading goal kicker in the game, and it's all the Swans right now. It's a matter of get it forward any way you can, and we saw a kick out of the air. I think it was Papley that got the kick out of the air. Parker, Parker, my post. Not sure. Oh, Patley, brilliantly red, and their leading goal kicker for the year. Comes up with another one, Tom Patley. Luke Best, on the fly, Tom Patley. We know he's the main target there, especially the forward 50 stoppages. How good's that? Great finish there, but that's been where Sydney have... That's where they've been able to gap the Saints, haven't they? I think it's 10 goals to one from stoppage situations. The rampy had slipped over. Yep. And now Papley in plenty of space here. Carlisle's not going to get there. He's got teammates heading towards the goal square, but Carlisle did well just to slow Papley down. Who goes to McVeigh, who can play on, and steady, and he does kick a goal in all 16 years in the AFL. What a farewell present from Jared McVeigh. And he's pumping the crowd up. He's dead. But this is a direct result of the Seb Ross turnover kick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was an absolute hell. And I know we've harped on it a bit, but they cannot win games of football if they continue to kick the footy like this. The Bloods couldn't get it to him quick enough. As Ronk sets it up, chance for the Flyers and Parker! And he elbowed Sam Reid out of the way. He never misses from here. Parker's got another one, and the Swans pulling clear in the final term now. Maybe Kieran Jack, we need a goal from him as well. This is a great grab. He's had another good season. Luke Parker probably on track for the best in Ferris. Rampy to Lloyd. Uses Dawson again on his right side to pull the kick in towards Franklin. Now playing his 10th game this year. He's already had a shot in this final term. Wasn't his best. A lot closer on this occasion. And Franklin has three in his 300. We saw Mills take that really good mark back there before. Spoken about Dawson a lot. And Lira Lee is going to go back into defence next year, you would have thought so. And no free kick because he went easy yeah, on the big man. But Kieran sure. Jack. Have a shot. The fans want him to go for goal. Kieran Jack, what a moment. <laughs> They've both got a goal in the final turn. You know what the greatest thing about that was? <laughs> that, I mean, they have all gone oh, yeah. <laughs> running ahead of the ball. He hit it sweetly too, oh. guys. He had Sydney players everywhere. Such a good club. Former captain as well, Kieran Jack. And I know, look, we, we were having a joke before. I know Dicko's working a lot with it, but there are a lot of players that you have to almost break their arm to get them to actually change the way they kick the footy. Patley saw Franklin out the back, and Buddy will play on and have them on their feet at the SCG once more. Four for Franklin. That's what we wanted. This was the storyline of the day, so we want Buddy to obviously get involved. He's kicking his four. See Jared McVeigh and Kieran Jack finish with great memories. They've kicked goals in the last quarter. He's still got a few left in the tank. I think thousands. A thousand with inside. He's, he's up to about, what, 950? 944. Yeah, yep. 944. I don't think you'll catch Jace. Who knows? But, you uh, never know how long he'll play for. Yeah. Such a good athlete. Just getting healthy. You probably have to have an opportunity.